G'day, I'm Ian Harris, and we're going to do a happy painting of my rainbow zebra. Now what I've done, I've got the appropriate board I'm going to use. I've printed out the zebra to the size of it, just the black and white. I've taped, printed it out in sections and taped it together. Now I'm going to put it over this board, tape it to the board, so we can get the lines right. Okay, we've put our image of the zebra over the canvas. I've just traced the outline, save taping up everything on the thing, because what we'll do now is I'm just going to marble in the background, okay? As you can see there, I've just done the outline of the zebra's head. So now we're going to marble in the background, and then we're going to paint this zebra over that background. Okay, this is in acrylic, so I'm using a retarder. This one helps stop your acrylics drying up too fast, and you can use them like an oil, but you only use it on certain bits. So we'll, we'll get all this primed up. I'll wet the board. Okay, the board's all primed, ready to put some happy colours on there, the rainbow colours, okay? So what we'll do, we'll work out where we're going to have some oranges and reds and greens and blue. And we're going to marble all them in, okay? I'll just do that to show you. Okay, let's get some colours on there, okay? We'll just wet me brush. I'm going to start with purple, blue and green on this side and then the yellows and reds on that side. So we'll get a bit of purple. I've got to put the retard in. I'm going to put the retard in there when have trouble. Okay, so this is just this corner here. Darken it up. Go to dry brush. Marble that in there, okay? That's it. Into there, and a little bit more darker up there. We can get some dark pockets. See, this is very wet, this paint. Just the smallest of purple I want in this one. Just copy. Now we're going to start with the, with the blue, so I'll just wipe my brush. Get some blue happening. Blue on blue. The, the blue is going to come down into really light blue, okay? Get another. Okay, now we'll just lightly with the brush, lightly, keeping it a marbly look. Whoosh it around, whoosh it around, whoosh, like you're putting clothes in the washing machine. Whoosh, whoosh. Whoa, anyway, we're not washing clothes, we Now I'm going to get my purple on there, because see how I've got that blue over there? Not a good thing, so we'll blend that purple back into the blue. Anyway, you see fit to blend, do it. Now we'll get some green. Now we're going to blend all this, okay? Okay, that's one side marbled up for the background, okay? And the good thing about this zebra painting, he's going to have a line down the middle of his stout. These colours will be in this side of the zebra, and these background colours will be in the opposite side of the zebra. So they're both saying hello to each other and having a happy day. Okay, now we're going to do the other side in the red, yellows and oranges. I don't have a lot of palettes. I use old china plates. There's all my reddy, yellowy, orangey colours. That's me, my prime colours, the black and white. I mean, the, whatever, the black and white. And this is my other colours. So I've got them to go back to instead of having a crowded colour board. Okay. Okay, we're going to start on the other side. Now, I even got the old shaving brush. Even that makes a damn good brush. Wet him up a bit. Now, what are we going to start at the top? He sort of blues into... Well, not blues, dark reds. So we'll get a bit of a... Just let me get him on here and I'll show you. Get some dark red up there. Real dark. Come on. And then we'll wipe him down into nothing. These colours, I've got to keep on the. I've got to keep these on the. Um, put a bit of white in that just to vibrate a bit. Watch what a bit of white does. Boosh, boosh, wow, look at that. It's good to have dirty clothes when you paint. And you, see that white just adds some marble in it, but I want that darker up there. Anyway, I'll get back to you when this side's done. 
Okay, we're just finishing off this side. I'll just show you in a minute. Just get it all ready to. Okay. To me, that's marbled enough. Now what I'm going to do, see you what our we're going to put all the lines on for the zebra, all these lines and eye lines, okay? His mouth you won't see because it's out of the picture. Sometimes a picture, you just put a bit of a picture to make a painting out of it. You don't have to do the whole thing. It's easy. Makes you happy too. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do now, I can still see part of that line. I'm going to mask up this side of the painting the, of the line because... I'm going to mask this side of the line because now I've got to white prime that and then put the lines on there so that can be all wished and washed. Actually, sorry about that masking tape. You don't really need to do that. All I'm doing, you can still see the, the line there. I'm just hand brushing it in with the white paint because where we're going to put this zebra, it does need a primer on there because a nice white behind your light colours, yellows and reds, it picks it up. So I'm going to do the same on the other side, okay, then paint all this white. Then we'll be happy. Okay, now I've painted that white. Now because it's acrylic, I can dry it so as we can get the lines on there. So I'll dry all this up. Get your hair dry. And we'll come back after the break and we'll put some lines in there, okay? Okay, I've taped this side up because this side of his head is going to have these colours in it on this side. And then I'll tape the other side up and those colours will be on this side of the zebra. Okay, I'm dabbing in the orange. Just dabbing it in some random places. Now I'm going to feather that in. Right, get a dry brush. I'll just blend that like so because I want to put some yellow. So I'm just lightly doing it, keeping it marbly still. Beautiful, that's there, lovely. Talk to your painting sometimes, it makes you real happy. Okay, now I'll put some other colours in and I'll get back to you. But I'm going to do it the same way. Okay, I'm just blending the yellow with some of that orange and then the third colour we'll put into here will be some red. Alright, I've got my reds on there. Now I'm going to blend that in there a bit as well. This is all just stuff behind behind this happy zebra's lines. There we go, not too heavy. It's nice and soft. Nice and soft. Yeah. Beautiful. Anyway. Okay, now this side's finished. I'm just really blending these in to get them a lot better character to their colour mixing. Okay, now I'm going to do the other side in these tones, okay? Okay, we've masked up the other side now. We've put the white in there with retarda to keep it so we can get it all marbly looking. So I've got my other colours now, which is purpley, bluey. So the main bluey colour is this one. So what I'm going to do now is put this in there. And we'll um, blend him in like we did before. Nice and soft. Get all the blue where you want it to go in the painting. It's up to you where you want it. 
Anyway, I'll get back to you when this is all done, okay? Alright, we've done that side. Now we're going to, we'll take the tape off it. I've got a line down the middle. There's a reason for that and I'll show you why. But you can get an idea how the zebra is going to look now. Now when I take this tape off, we're going to put the lines on there. And then we're going to do some detailing in between those lines and then we'll paint it black and BANG! She's finished. So by now you're finished. And we're left with this. back over the top of the thing there. I'm using a red pen so I can see what we're doing and I've got carbon paper under there and I'm drawing all these lines in because they're going to be black on top of all those colours. Okay so I use a red pen so you can see where you're done and make sure you can put a line in all this black because when it's done you've got to do all that black and you don't want to get confused and put it where you don't need it to go okay. So I'll get back to you when this is all done. Okay, all the lines are in there. It's hard to see on the camera. But now what I want to do before I paint all these lines black, I want to just highlight in between some bits, put some white glow around the eye and around the snout just to give it so when we put the black on there, it'll have some 3D dimension. So let me put these whites on that I'm talking about now and we'll get back. Okay, what we've done now, we've gone and put some highlights here because now the black paint is going to close all this in and make it fantastic okay so what I'll do I'll get the black paint on the um, what do you call it oh the dinner plate I'll use a dinner plate and then we'll start painting all those lines okay when you're doing the black because I'm using acrylic it's going to be watered down, not too watery, just enough to let it flow, because if you don't water it down, it'll be very hard to flow. Now let's work out, see, I'm going to... Can you see that? This is the tedious bit going in all the lines you just put in there, but it's worth it, because... going to bring this zebra to life. That's what we're going to do all over the painting, okay? Okay, you can see what's happening here. I'm getting lost. Machine. I hope. Yeah, she's a tedious job, but we all got to do it. Okay, almost there. Well, not almost, almost, almost half done. It's tedious, but it's great therapy. People like to play golf. People like to fish. People like to knit. Then there's happy people like us. 
We like to paint. It's all mind therapy. It's good for the soul. Slowly getting there. Slowly getting the other side done. Tedious job, my God, tedious. This is probably the most annoying part of this painting, but it's a very easy painting to do. And at the end of it all, it'll be worth it. Okay. We're just about finished. All I've got to do is sign it. Now with a stretch canvas, if you don't want to bring your paint around the side, just paint the whole thing black. That's what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to sign it. But that's the finished product of our rainbow zebra. Hope you enjoyed the show. Goodbye, good luck, good on ya.